Good morning, today I'm going to show you how to make the um, Ermine Buttercream, it's absolutely divine. I'm going to do three colours, I'm going to do black for my Batman cake, I'm going to do pink and blue for my baby reveal cake. So stay tuned. So first off we're going to weigh 35 grams of plain flour. Then we're going to add 50 grams of cocoa, cocoa flour. And the reason why I'm putting cocoa is because I want to turn it into black buttercream. And this is the easiest way to do it. Then I'm going to add 200 grams of full cream milk. Then we're going to um, blitz it, blend it for 5 seconds on speed 6. Then we're going to cook it for 15 minutes, 15 minutes at 80 degrees on speed 4. Okay, it's been 15 minutes now and the roux is ready. So by cooking the flour and the milk, you're making a roux for the base of your buttercream. So we're going to put it in a plate and let it cool down before we add it to our buttercream, our butter and sugar to make buttercream. This is absolutely the best tasting buttercream I've ever had. I wasn't a fan of buttercream before because of the sugar contents. This doesn't have much sugar in it, it's not that sweet. And it comes out silky smooth for your cakes and your cupcakes. Absolutely divine. So we're going to cover it with cling wrap, just like you would do when you make custard. And we're going to let it sit aside to cool down. Now clean your bowl and dry it, because now we're going to make the sugar and the butter part of this buttercream. First of all, we're going to melt the sugar. So I'm going to weigh 150 grams of sugar. And we're going to mill it for 15 seconds. Speed 9. This is how you make gum. This is how you make icing sugar buns. I'm just going to show you how the sugar came out. See that? That's icing sugar. So you never have to go buy icing sugar again. Now we're going to add the butter. So we're going to weigh 200 grams of unsalted butter, which I have chopped earlier. And then we're going to chop it for five seconds. Five seconds on speed seven. Now we're going to add the butterfly whisk to aerate the butter and sugar together for one minute, one to two minutes. Probably go two minutes on speed three. And the MC off. Okay, so it's ready now. I'm going to scrape the sides. And push all the butter down like that. And now we're going to add the vanilla. We need 35 grams of vanilla. I use paste. Add my color now, so I'm going to do a splash of that. 
using pink for my pink butter cream. And this is just a neon pink. Okay. Now we're gonna beat it for six minutes. I'm gonna put the NC back on. Six minutes. Wait, sorry. Not six minutes, six seconds. Six seconds on speed four. Just give it a scrape down again. That's how it looks so far. Now we're gonna add the pulled roux that we made earlier. This is the white one that I made, not the chocolate one. So the white roux. We're using the chocolate one for the black icing, not so anything light colours, pinks, blues, purples, you need a white roux. Anything with dark colours like navy and black, you need a chocolate roux. Okay, so we've added our roux and we're gonna beat it again for two to three minutes on speed three. So our butter cream is ready, nice and fluffy. We're gonna take our butterfly whisk out. And we're gonna put it in a container and let it sit in the fridge for 15 minutes before use. And there you have it, pink buttercream. Um, I'll show you the blue and the black one. So stay tuned. So we've made our blue buttercream. I'm just gonna put it in our container to be in the fridge for 15 minutes before use. And then I'm gonna make the black buttercream. Honestly, guys, if you don't own a thermo mix, maybe get in contact with your consultant or even ask me. I'm a consultant. Um, and I promise you, you will not regret buying this. It's absolutely the best ever. Wish I had bought it early. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're a professional cake decor decorator or just you love baking at home, this will save you so much time, so much money. You make everything from scratch. It's absolutely the best kitchen gadget I've ever, ever come across. There you have it, blue buttercream. Ready for my baby reveal cake. So we've made our black buttercream. Um, the colour will darken as it sits. So it might look grey now, but it will go darker later. It just needs to rest. And then we put it in the fridge for 15 minutes for use. And then you have it. All three colours that are ready to be used for my upcoming cakes this week. There will be a video on how I put those cakes together later in the week. So stay tuned. But for now, it's goodbye from me. Until our next video, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and put a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you're considering buying a Thermomix, get in contact with your consultant. You won't be disappointed, honestly. Bye-bye. Okay,